George Winokur was recruited to be head here from Wash U in the early 70s and was in that position for the next 20 years. His chief legacy drove from his focus on the principle of what knowledge in psychiatry is, which is the centrality of testable hypotheses. We did the first MR study of abnormalities in schizophrenia, and that pioneered a field that now has probably five, 10,000 papers. We really founded the whole field of brain imaging in psychiatry with that first study of schizophrenia. I came to the Department of Psychiatry here at the University of Iowa because of its great tradition in focusing on the biology of how the brain functions and how brain biology contributes to behavior. It's got an incredibly strong emphasis on both clinical care and basic science as well as clinical research. And so it's the perfect meld of, of all three, I think, for developing new treatments and optimizing approaches to patient care. We have access to literally thousands of interesting patients and the population is stable, they are civically minded, they are cooperative. Um, it's just a, a perfect place to do research. We have high throughput genomic technology. We have the most powerful imaging technology available. We have the laboratories to perform the analysis of that data and a whole array of molecular technologies. We're doing a lot of cutting edge research both here in the department and in other departments. And there's a long history of collaboration uh, between the departments here at the University of Iowa. For me, that sort of collaborative spirit has been by far the, the strongest suit for Iowa. This collaborative environment is really important for our work because we need a lot of help from specialists in a variety of different areas. There's quite a lot of diversity. It's not like the department is just on one illness or one sort of approach. We do imaging, we do lots of, of uh, genetics, uh, phenomenological studies. So there's a range and a depth here that's pretty pretty unique, I think. We've produced pivotal studies on major psychiatric disorders, and I think for a relatively small department, we've had a disproportionate influence. In my lab, the foundation of what we do is identifying genetic factors that are related to psychiatric disorders. Specifically, my work focuses on schizophrenia and autism. We get structural brain imaging scans on all these patients, and we get them longitudinally. So we can then connect these genetic factors to deeper aspects of disease, like what happens to the brain over time, which patients respond to treatment well and which don't, given their genetic makeup. And that's pretty unique. I do research trying to understand the genetic variations that predispose people to depression and bipolar disorder. I'm also involved in epigenetics, which involves modifications of genes that are brought on by, by environmental exposures. For the first time in the last couple of years, we have clear-cut genes that we know predispose to bipolar disorder. So it's a very exciting time. The next step is something that I am so excited about. There is a new technology that's called human-induced pluripotent stem cells. What we can do is take our patients in whom we've identified genetic abnormalities obtain their skin, create their stem cells, and then create their neurons. And then we can study these neurons by, you know, seeing how they connect with one another. It's a, a game-changing breakthrough. As we move into the future, I think all we need to do is look to our past to see where we're heading. We've been very productive, and I believe we'll continue to be productive way into the future. We're a department with a lot of people who are expert clinicians and expert researchers and people who value the teaching role as well. I want us to continue to be a place where psychiatrists refer their most difficult patients. We have always had a very good department and I'm very proud of our tradition. What we find is that if we can get someone to come and visit Iowa City, and find out what a wonderful environment it provides, we have them hooked.